While the United Kingdom is seeing a drive towards delivering superfast broadband right across the country, significant hurdles remain. Some of the big issues are being debated here in Newcastle this week at the annual Inca Conference. Fibre Systems TV is here too and has been asking delegates how optimistic they are about when or even whether the UK will achieve its ambition of a full fibre broadband network. Yeah, I think Star at Starlight Tech we're very optimistic that uh, the UK can reach the full fibre broadband target. I think uh, the way the collaboration is working now between different parts of the industry, the way British Telecom are developing and rolling out their networks, the way Virgin uh, Media is rolling out their networks, and now more increasingly the way the independent cablers are developing and there's a, a real energy to the way they're rolling out networks. I think together all those three parties are going to deliver a full five full fibre future for the UK. I think the word is full fibre. Uh, I, don't see, I haven't seen ever so much activity in delivering fibre, uh, not just from a large operator perspective, but lots and lots of smaller operators meeting that fibre requirement. However, we're some way away. You know, we're only around about 3% of homes connected with fiber. Compare that to other countries, we're miles behind. And it's gonna be multiple years before we reach that full fiber environment. But new technologies like GFAST, as well as FTTP, is enabling multi-hundred megabits, as well as gigabit societies today, and more and more activity in pure fiber as well. Full fiber broadband networks in the UK is gonna be a challenge. Um, there's a very good case for covering 10 or even 15 million premises across the UK by the early to mid 2020s. Um, there's good return on investment, there's lots of enthusiasm there, uh, the government's very keen, investor sentiment's up. So its, it's confidence is quite high in that respect. The challenge is always going to be that last few million. As we've seen with the previous rollouts of FTTC and so on, it takes a little bit of persuasion and imagination uh, to get full fibre even further out. But yeah, I'm pretty optimistic actually. We're seeing a lot of, a lot of uh, pretty uh, exciting alt nets and, and new business plans and new business cases coming through. So yeah, we've got a chance, but it's, it's always going to be a, a push and a, and, a, and a challenge. At MTEL, we're really excited by having a full fiber networks being built throughout the UK. We're prepared for this wave of demand and we are heavily investing in capital throughout our four European facilities. Yeah, well, City Fibre is very optimistic that we will achieve the UK ambition for full fibre. Um, you know, we started in 2011 with one objective, which was to deliver full fibre throughout the UK. We've been delivering on that promise almost to the UK for the last five years. And we're now in 42 towns and cities. We've just announced our uh, relationship with Vodafone to bring fibre to the premise, to the homes and business of no less than five million premises in the UK by 2025. 50% of the government target um, and actually 20% of the, the national target. Now that's our part of it. Um, the key thing here also, Brian, is that what we will do is encourage and stimulate the competition to do the same. And that in this case obviously is BT Openreach and our announcements will stimulate them. They are now consulting on their 10 million. Their 10, our five is 15. The other alternates are adding their bit to it. I can clearly see a path to 20 million FTTP premises across the UK delivered over the next decade. At Fiber Options we've seen a significant increase in the opportunity for investment into full fiber networks over the last year or so and consequently we have a great deal of confidence in um, both government support, regulatory support and also market demand for the rollout of full fiber networks and I would hope that in the next five years or so we should see a significant penetration of fiber networks into the country. So I think that, that uh, the UK is going to move from its current position of 3% full fibre up to, up to 90% uh, in about 20 years. Uh, and, and I think I'm very optimistic that that will happen. Um, meanwhile, wireless needs to be uh, filling in the gaps.